Hi, everybody. It's Chris. Uh, I want to thank Jason for sending this question over. He had asked me to verify a calculation that he did for the area of this, the face of this particular staircase here. This is, uh, this is sheet four of the module 10 plan set. You'll see this in your workbook. And so that's a, uh, we're trying to find the face area of the part in red here. Okay, because we're going to use this area, we're going to multiply that times the total length of all the stairs in the building, and that'll give us the volume for the, uh, for the amount of concrete that we're going to need. So what I always do with irregular shapes like this is I, I, my strategy is always take the big area, which includes the concrete plus any empty space, minus the empty space. And if once I get the area of both of those sections, then the difference is going to be the amount of concrete or the amount of face area that I, that I need to calculate my amount of concrete. Uh, the other thing that I do is I try to take irregular shapes and turn them into uh, shapes that are easy to find the areas of. In this case, when I see this, I know I'm going to have to find the area of the actual concrete, but I'm also going to have to subtract out this empty space here, which is a triangle. That's a right triangle. And the formula for a triangle is uh, one half base times height. And so I have my base here and I have my height here and we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, the other thing I'm gonna do is separate these steps out into very easy shapes. I'm just gonna make little rectangles right here. So now uh, I can just simply use the formulas for uh, finding the area of a rectangle or a square, anything is a length times either width or height or whatever, just two of the dimensions. So uh, I'm gonna identify my areas as area one, two, three, and four. And let's start calculating. This is uh, pretty simple. If you break it down into very simple steps, just easy uh, um, multi uh, multiples of easy calculations make the hard calculations a lot easier. So we're going to do calculation one here is going to be uh, this is this, this section here, that's four inches plus seven inches. So that's going to be 11 inches times this tread depth there, which, sorry, I was adding it, is one foot, so that's 12 inches. And let's go ahead and use the construction calculator here. And we can calculate that at 11 inches times 12 inches gives me, now it gives it to me in square inches. I'm gonna convert everything to feet. So you just toggle over to feet and it gives you the, uh, the in square feet, 0 0.92, so 0. 0.92 square feet. I'm going to find the uh, the second area. So area two, I have my 11 inches, but I need to add my additional seven inches, right? Because I have to come up here. So that's going to be 18 inches. And again, the tread depth is the same, 12 inches. So 18 inches by 12 inches. Let's go and calculate that. 18 inch by 12 inch equals and it gives me a square inches, I'm gonna convert to feet. That's 1.5, 1.5 square feet. Okay, halfway there. And let's do area three. Area three is gonna be this 18 inches plus an additional seven inches. We gotta add that piece. So that's gonna be 25 inches times, and again, our, our tread depth is 12 inches times 12 inches. Okay, so nothing, so nothing hard right now. So as of yet, that's pretty easy stuff. Let's keep going, 25 inches times 12 inches. And again, we give it square inches, but I want it in feet, so 2.08. And I just rounded the second to the hundreds place, the second decimal point. Eight square feet. And let's do area four. And area four is going to be this area here. And so we have our 25 inches, we need to add seven. So that's going to be 32 inches and times our 12 inches because we still have the same depth there of the stairs. So let's go back to our calculator here, 32 inches by 12 inches and gives me square inches. I'm gonna convert to feet, Two point, we'll say 2.67 seven square feet. So what I'll do now is I just, I'll add these up. This is gonna be my big area. So this is gonna be my big area. 
And let's go and add these up. We have, let's clear that out, 0 0.92 plus 1.5, that's a point there, plus 1.5. plus 2.08, plus 2.67. And that's gonna be in feet. That's gonna be in my 7.17 square feet. Now that's the whole big area, right? So now we need to subtract out the empty space. The empty space is this triangle. So we need to calculate what our base measurement is from this point to this point and we need to figure out what our height measurement is from this point to this point and the plan gives us everything that we need so uh, we know that from from this point of the stairs the face of the front step all the way over to the back of the top step it tells us right here one foot two foot three foot four feet we have 48 inches there because it's tw one one foot equals 12 inches so we have 48 inches but we have this 11 inch space right here, which is not, we're not going to subtract out. We're just subtracting out the triangle section. So we're going to take 48 uh, minus 11. So we have 48 inches minus 11 inches. That's going to give you 37 inches. So our base, our distance here is going to be 37 inches. And now we've got to figure out our height and the height's the same thing. Our distance from this point all the way down to the bottom of the stairs, this point, is going to be seven plus seven, which is 14, plus seven, which is 21, plus seven, which is 28, plus four, which is 32. But we have to subtract out, and you can kind of see, plan's a little hard to read, but it says here that this distance from this point to here, which is not part of our triangle, we need to subtract that out. That's seven inches plus four inches. So uh, we're gonna end up with uh, 21 inches for our height. So 21 inches for our height. So for our formula, one half base times height, we're gonna be, uh, we're going to calculate it as, let me do it over here, uh, 37 inches times 21 inches. And then that, whatever that is divided by two, that's gonna give us our area of the, the empty space, the triangle. So let's calculate that. 37 inches times 21 inches equals, let's go to feet just to make it easy, it's 5.39, but we gotta divide by two to get the area of that triangle. So that's two, we'll call that 2.7. So that's 2.7 square feet. So now we have, I'm just gonna move it over here, guys, so I run out of room. We have the area of the big, that equaled the 7.17, 7.17 square feet. And then we have the area of the small. And the area of the small is 2.7 square feet, 2.7 square feet. So our area, our face area of the stairs We're taking our big area minus our small area, that's 7.17. 7 7.17 minus 2.7. We end up with 4.47 square feet. And that is how you calculate the face area of that stairs. Now you're gonna to go to the plan that you're going to measure, you're gonna have this 4.47 square feet and you're gonna find where the steps are located. So we're just, so here's a good uh, area to look. And we have a step stairway here. And you can see that this stairway is more or less, I'm just taking some rough measurements. Uh, we have to come all the way down here to find these dimensions, but we have 24 feet to kind of the midpoint and then another 24 feet. So we have 48 feet of stairs here 
And we have another staircase here, which pretty much is the same. 48, uh, 24 plus 24 is 48 feet. So my, my total length of my staircases leading into the building is gonna be 48 feet plus 48 feet, which is gonna equal 96 feet. So I would take my area of my face area that we calculated And the face area, again, was 4.47. And remember, that's square feet. We'll multiply that times 96 feet. And then we'll get our, uh, should get our amount of volume that we're going to need for those, uh, for the staircase. So let's take 4.47. We're going to call that feet, feet, because that's square feet. Remember, it's important to add that in there. We have two dimensions there. And then we're going to multiply that times 96 feet. And we should get our cubic feet. We want it in yards because that's how they measure concrete. So you just toggle to yards. So you're going to have a total of basically 16, let's round up, 16 cubic yards of concrete for that stairway. I hope you found the video useful. Uh, you can check our Facebook and Instagram account. Uh, at. You can search at exam prep with Chris, and you'll be able to see some additional videos and resources there. Thank you so much, guys, and you have a great day.